Hello, I'm Oliver the Shoe Man. Um, today's is going to be the first video of hopefully many more to come of me showing you guys how I'm going to take old beat up shoes like these Danner Sierras and turn them into cool, custom, functional shoes that you guys can wear. Um, today, I'm going to recraft, like I said, these Danner Sierras. Um, normally all I'd have to do is replace this rubber sole right here. Um, but I'm going to customize these a little bit. What I'm going to do is take everything off. I'm going to replace this rubber piece. So you got the welt, this rubber midsole, you got the foam and then the actual rubber sole itself. I'm going to take this rubber midsole, take it all off and then put a leather midsole. And then I'm going to put this vibram crepe slash foam sole i guess um and then i'll put that on and then i'm gonna sand down the ridges and make this a little bit more i guess curvy to match that and then from there i'm gonna put on the vibram 400 no 100 sole i'm sorry 100 sole on there and hopefully my goal is that this color will match this color play off and then the black will well let's get started alrighty so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my knife in between those two layers right there the between the welt and the midsole cutting all the stitches careful not to actually I'm gonna run this in between the first I can separate everything. This is just a little heel prior. This will make it a lot easier for me to get my knife in there. And cut it without cutting the actual shoe itself. And just like that. Can't even see that. This whole thing comes up. So you got all the different layers of sole, the sole, the foam, the midsole. And then here, this is called the clamp down construction. Um, you got basically, this is the same piece of leather. It kind of goes in and folds out, and that's what you stitch to. Um, but I'm gonna get all these little loose pieces stitched or glued down, get the old threads taken out. So this is the shank. It's a fiberglass shank. It's wrapped in some stuff. But what I'm going to replace, well, what, the, well, what this shank does, supports the arch. So this little part right here, which doesn't touch the ground, this goes on top and supports from the back of the front, that little arch of your sh foot. Um, there's nothing wrong with fiberglass. It's just over time, it tends to break. Um, so I'm going to replace it with a metal shank, a steel shank, which will last longer. It'll give you better support and won't break as easy. I mean, steel, steel, shank, steel shanks do break, just not as easily as fiberglass. Um, so I'm just going to give a little bit of shape here. We'll get that glued in. Then we'll get the leather midsole. As this this one get the leather midsole glued on stitched all the way around all right so us cobblers we have a special glue designed for shoemaking shoe repair um 
So I see it a lot. Your shoes came unglued and you go to the store, you get Gorilla Glue or something to fix it. And then you end up having to bring it in because not only did the glue not work, it kind of tore up your shoe. So then I have to spend more time cleaning it up and fixing it. So please, whatever you do, do not try to re-glue your own shoes. I have special, we have special glue for shoes that won't tear it up and actually does a good job. So we'll let this dry a little bit. I already put glue on the shoe. We'll heat it up and then we'll stick it together. You can see the difference. I mean, that was on there before. Now this is on there. It's gonna give more, much more support. Lasts a whole lot longer. Um, so now I'm gonna put just a little bit of glue on, on the shank itself. And I'm gonna put this a thin little piece of cotton. And what this does is because we're putting leather on top of it, if it happens to come unglued, it's gonna start squeaking and that prevents it from squeaking. I'll put the rest of the glue on here. Some more glue in there. And then the problem is with these style shoes, the, the clamp down or stitch down construction, you have a lot of, you end up having a lot of play in this. So this, if you don't stick it down correctly, it's gonna, the shoe's gonna look weird. It's not gonna feel right. All right, and just like that, it's ready for, oh, well, I gotta let it dry. And then we're gonna go ahead and stick the new leather midsoles on there. All right, get this leather midsole on there. Now, why am I putting leather and not rubber like original, originally? Well, there really, there's, there's very few differences between leather and rubber midsoles. Some circumstances, one's better. I like I like leather midsoles better because it sticks to things better than rubber. And then it actually also starts to form to your foot. Rubber really doesn't. Um and also makes it easier to resole in the future. Alright, so this spring clamps this down to this little wheel. So you pick that up, stick your the shoe in there, and then you run it along. I know it's hard to see right now, but that's the best angle I could get. There it is, that's a better angle. But basically that puts pressure. Bringing those two layers together. Now it actually has this little arm right here, which also, Cuts the leather. All right, so now that we have it semi trimmed and it, the shape is good. Take the knife, I'm just gonna trim the rest of it off. As close as I can get to it. All right, now I'm gonna go behind me to my sander and true up the, all the edges. All right, so before we, well, the leather midsole is glued on, trimmed up both sides. Now, before I go and rough up the bottom and then stitch it, 
I'm going to clean the uppers. Now this is the little concoction I made of, it's called Lincoln Easy Cleaner. I'm gonna put a little bit, of, I put a little bit of water in there and a little bit of Dawn dish soap. And then I shook it all up. And this will just saturate the boot. It's just a little, a light cleaning. So we get all the dirt and stuff off of it. It's not gonna clean it 100%, but it's good enough. Big difference now between that one that I didn't clean and that one that I have cleaned and just brushed. All right, so I got them cleaned up and then I got the bottom scuffed up. And now this is my Landis K, my outsole stitcher. You got the bottom thread and the top thread, but you actually sew the boot upside down. And what this is gonna do is replace those old stitches that we took out with new stitches that are actually holding on the leather midsole. Now. This machine doesn't always like to play nice, but so I'm gonna say a little prayer before. And I'm just trying to get the get it to where the thread's actually lubricated. Um, say a little prayer. Hopefully, it will stitch all the way around. Well, it was doing really good. And of course, right near the end, that's where it wanted to mess up on me. So let's hope it will go the rest of the way without any problem. All right, all right, so when placing the sole, I wanna make sure that it's even centered. Just start right there, push down, make sure it's nice and centered. All righty. So there it is so far. With the first sole on there, it's not really centered, but that's gonna be covered up. So I really don't wanna sand this down, nice and smooth. We're gonna round this little heel part out. All right, so what you saw me doing was basically shaping the foam, sanding it down. Um, so now I'm just gonna get some glue, put a thin layer. And I don't want too much glue, but I wanna make sure it's spread out evenly. Make sure all those little pores are filled in. Alrighty. And this is the sole. I scuffed up this side because it was smooth or like, like shiny. And you wanna scuff it up that way that the glue bonds better to it and get a better stick. So if you like these boots, I believe they are a size seven seven in women's not in men's um 
Yes. Their size, I don't know if you can read that, but size seven, women's medium. Uh, but if you like these, and you would like to have them, at the end of the video, you could go down um, and go visit my eBay page where they will be listed for sale. And then you could have these for a long time, just because of the material I'm using. And you could always have another cobbler resole them just by replacing this piece right here. The new sole, the, this piece. But you gotta bring it to him before you wear into the actual foam part itself, because then he has to re-level it out and it just looks weird, but let's get this on there. I want to get, I want to get all the bubbles out. That's what that side is for. So get in between the ridges. Get all the bubbles out, and I'll take these channel locks and I'll put them up a little bit longer, wider them together and we'll take it over to the, the five and one do the rest and then put it in the press right, so that goes in there bring it over to here get all lined up just the lever down that pushes that down. alrighty this should be the last time I'm gonna be cutting on these shoes So this is my stock removal. This is normally 24 grit. And then this belt over here is a worn out 80 grit. So when I'm using this, it leaves, you see a whole bunch of little ridges and stuff. And now I'm gonna clean it up with this one. All right, so now that we've got the soles on, all trimmed up, nice what i'm gonna do because <clears throat> you can still see like little scuff marks in the toe that little line right there and around the boot so this is black rock it's a leather conditioner preserver and a cleaner all in one shot you just take a little bit and go over like a little bit goes a long way like i could, I could use that whole little brush part or brush just for this whole shoe and get it down in the cracks all right now you can see scuff mark went away now i gotta buff it and then get ready to go out all righty we're done with this project so um like i said earlier if you like these shoes, they are a size seven US, the women's medium. They are the Danner Sierra, style number is 63100. It is made in the USA with leather and the leather upper and the fabric. There's a fabric upper. Um, so yeah, this is like a canvas. Um, uh, what we did, well, we took the old soles, right? This had the rubber midsole, which we replaced with the leather midsole because it sticks better and actually will form to whoever gets these boots. Um, their foot be super comfortable. It, it lasts longer. Um, then we replaced this black foam with a, like a tan, tan foam, I guess you can call it. We, we used a, a, a wedge sole, a crepe sole to basically create that that's the shape and then we replaced this vibram sole with basically a new one that's very similar to the same thickness just different tread pattern these were the old shanks they were the fiberglass ones um like i said over time fiberglass breaks i can't break it right now because it's probably fairly new um but we replaced it with steel shanks which won't break 
as fast as these ones will. Um, we cleaned and conditioned the uppers. Not much we had we were able to we had to do with the uppers, but um, there you go. I really like how they turned out. You got the, I really like the American flag. Danners will put an American flag tag on there when the boots are made in America. Um, so I will. These were the old laces. With these boots, you get brand new laces, very similar to the color of these ones. Um, you get brand new laces. The leather uppers are conditioned, ready to go. Brand new soles. Now, unless you're to have another cobbler pretty much redo this, your shoes like this, you're not gonna find another Danner um, Sierra boot like this from like the factory. So you have to get these rebuilt, which makes these like a pretty much one of a kind. Cause I have not, I've yet to see one of these like this, but um, I put a little bit of distressed. I hit it with the brown buff removal to put the distressed in there to match that better. I did spray it with a waterproofing spray. That way it's it's a little bit more waterproof than these already are because they're, I believe they're Gore-Tex lined. Um, yeah, they do got a Gore-Tex lining in them. So, if you have any questions, you could always go check me out on Instagram. Um, Oliver the, or no, The Shoe Man. Um, I not only do boots, I do women's shoes, dress shoes, work boots. Um, you can go check my page out. You can also check the main shop's page out. We do a whole bunch of cool things. As you can see, I got all those shoes up there getting brand new rubber. So you could always contact me on Instagram if you have any questions. Um, the link to the eBay page will be on down in the description. Thanks again for watching. You have a beautiful day whenever you're watching this at night. Have a good night. Um, I'll see you on the next video. God bless.